I'm gonna try to uh, weld that, fix that, and also I'm gonna cut this off and possibly uh, I guess I'll make a pass right here. This is where it leaks from here all the way there. What I'm gonna do is uh, cap it off and then uh, put some water in it just to make sure before I put it on. Oh man, I forgot to remove the sensor. I don't wanna pry that sensor. Yeah, it has been more than an hour now. Yeah, it looks like uh, I got it all fixed. I don't see it. Yeah. Man. What a day so far. Just trying to fix those two. Well, I also went and got to... Uh, Went to AutoZone and uh, got one of those distributors. So, so finally, I am able to cut this thing. Let's go. So I'm just simply going to uh, give it an outline. Nothing fancy. There's no need. Yeah. I should give it a little hump in the middle. We'll see how it goes. See what it looks like. I'm just simply gonna file it and uh, make it pretty.
Okay. That should do it. All right, I'm just gonna clean this up and then uh, put it on there. I will do the coloring afterwards. I got plenty of time. sealant just to hold it a little bit not very much just let the sealant uh, let the seal do all the sealing I usually just put a dab just to uh, prevent it from falling off. Let's check the, uh, the engine, make sure everything is all good to go. Uh, let me wipe the, let me wipe this thing with the acetone. Just getting the grease so the uh, sealant or rubber will seal better okay hopefully you you'll see this plate that was a, a made up uh, buffle because I have my uh, bent, well, more like for an old catch can, will be right on the old cap area. And this is something that I learned from a previous build that when I put that, it prevents a lot of oil going into the uh, catch can. I'll explain it to you once I put on the, uh, uh, what do you call that, the part that I bought, but that's on a different block. Okay, I think I'm ready to, uh, to slap that bad boy on. Oh, always put a sealant on all four corners. This is to, uh, to prevent any oil leaking. I'll show you. Well, everyone knows where you put the sealant but for some guys sometimes to be very careful when you uh, where you put the sealant last time I couldn't get my air conditioning to work find out that the, the, the sealant that I put, put on next to it it hardened and the clutch would not engage. <laughs> yeah. So like, uh, I live and learn. So the area is right there. Yeah.
hopefully my seal stayed intact I can't believe that all the prices went up. This gasket used to be 20 bucks. But now it just doubled. Oh well. Wow. Okay, tighten this. You gotta start in the middle. Always start in the middle. This is pretty much like it's brand new. I only used this on my uh, Dino session, but I'm using a BKR7E, a little bit colder, and I set the gap to uh, from 38 to uh, 43. We'll be ready for our main event, but not today. I'm just getting here uh, ready. I still have to put on the, uh, the O2 sensor. But I got all the the leaks fixed and all that. Yeah, I never had a time to uh, fix the uh, on the wire too. Okay. So that make sure it's snap. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? You're good. You going Hi. tonight? That's it. Icing up the crop. Oh, I gotta put the cover for now. Until everything will be ready for the main event. All right, guys, um, that's just about it for the bulb cover, giving it a cut. Yeah, show them the final touch, the cutaway. So it's not uh, really that hard, just the simple tools is all you need. But whenever you're working on a power tools, make sure you are confident. Yeah, you don't want any uh, accident. Okay? And uh, I'll be seeing you guys. Bye, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.